What's going on everybody out there and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a interesting topic video that is spinning out of Marvel's latest event, Blood Hunt. And I don't mean spinning out of what's in the story, but how we can read the story. Blood Hunt comes out in two different versions. The regular version, the T plus version, you get the main story, awesome stuff, tons of awesome variants. But then there's this, the red label variant. Eight more pages, it's a dollar more, but more explicit, more gory, and it, there's a lot more explicit stuff in this book. So, and they're going to be doing this for the entire Blood Hunt series. Each issue, all five, are going to have two different versions. So this got me thinking after reading this issue. Now, I enjoyed the Red Label book. I read both versions of the book. The Red Label definitely is for more mature readers. But I wonder, is this Marvel's answer to DC Comics' Black Label book? This is the red tape. DC has Black Label. Now, DC created Black Label to give readers a more mature take on the superheroes we've all been reading and loved for years. However, it's a more mature, for more mature adult readers. Fast forward to present day, now we've got red tape from Marvel. Marvel giving adult readers something a bit more if we want it. If we don't want it, we have the regular version. Don't have to get this. The eight pages that are extra in this book all just expand on what goes on in this book. It's nothing that you're missing out on, like you have to read the eight pages in here. There's nothing important that you're missing out on that, oh, I'm not going to know about this until issue two. No. It just adds to what we already know here. Whatever happens here, happened here. It just gives us a little bit of extra story. So my query is this. If Red Label does good, or Red Tape does good, I keep calling it Red Label. If Red Tape does good with Marvel, will we be seeing this more in the future? People are already talking about the Red Tape variant for Blood Hunt. People are already talking about the more mature, gory version of the main event story. Will we be seeing this in other miniseries, in other events, maybe even in special milestone ongoing series? I could see Deadpool getting a red tape variant or a red tape version. However, again, it makes me wonder, like, would it work for any superhero or would it have to be a specific superhero like Wolverine or Deadpool, maybe X-Men? Because I don't know if how I've received... Amazing Sp Spider-Man, it's going to be hitting its 1,000th issue soon. I don't know how I'd receive Amazing Spider-Man issue 1,000 red tape. I mean, unless it's one crazy event issue, I don't know how I would take that. But, for the appropriate book, would it be worth it? As a collector, I will always be, I'll be buying both versions of the Blood Hunt series. I'll be getting the regular standard version and I'll be getting the red tape uh, version. Do you have to get both? No. Will collectors probably get both? Of course. Will readers get a, a choice between the two? Absolutely. I don't think everyone's going to buy two versions of the book. More than likely, if they're mature readers, they're just going to grab the extra dollar version. For a dollar more, extra pages, you can't go wrong with that. But it's interesting, and I'm wondering if we're going to see more of this. And I, for one, am definitely down to see more red tape books in the future, as long as it fits as long as it's something that works with the book. What do all of you think? Do you think this is something you'd like to see from Marvel books in the future? Do you not like what this whole red label, the extra dollar, the extra version of the book? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I think this is Marvel's way of giving us a little bit more bang for our buck. It gives mature readers the option to read it the way we always do, or get a little bit more explicit with our stuff, which I really do enjoy. I do like that as well. So, I would love to know what all of you think. As always, if you'd like to follow me on social media, my links are in the description below, as well as links to other places where you can find me. If you enjoyed this video and you're new to the channel, consider clicking that subscribe button. There's a lot of videos coming out soon. And also don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified and you have the video in your subscription page. Either way, you'll know when a new video comes out from Dark Avenger Media. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, there's a thumbs down for a reason. You're welcome to do that as well. Till next time, everybody.
Take care. Keep reading. Keep collecting. And I will see all of you really soon in the next one.